When the ABC's Four Corners exposed confronting images of the abuse of children in youth detention in Darwin, the nation responded with shock. Now, a 15-month inquiry has recommended the closure of the Dondale Centre featured in the program. The Royal Commission's scathing findings prompted a rare apology from the Northern Territory Government. Punitive, damaging and sometimes illegal, the ABC's Four Corners programme laid bare the shackles, spit-hooding and tear-gassing used at Dondale. The children were subject to verbal abuse, physical control and humiliation, including being denied access to basic human needs such as water, food and the use of toilets. What are you doing, you little gay dog? Do you want to be boys want to suck my The Royal Commission delivered a damning assessment of detention practices. Isolation was used and continues to be used inappropriately, punitively and inconsistently with what is in your own legislation. When we heard from the vulnerable witnesses, it was pretty hard. We all were affected by it. They presented a prescriptive blueprint for reform. It includes closing Dondale and the High Security Unit, prohibiting the use of tear gas, banning the use of force and restraints to control behaviour, making sure no children younger than 14 are detained, raising the age of criminal responsibility from 10 to 12. All things they say should have been done years ago. It's very surprising that Australia generally is a bit slow on the uptake. They want Indigenous organisations to lead the way. We've got to get serious about working with Aboriginal people. The Territory Government offered an apology. I am sorry. But not yet a commitment to implement every recommendation. It'd be impossible with 42 chapters and 2100 words to be able to say we accept these and we don't accept these. I can talk um, about, I can say very clearly that the direction the Commission has indicated we support. The Royal Commission hasn't specified what kind of detention centres they want Dondale and Alice Springs replaced with. But they have said instead of the current 70 bed facilities, there must be no more than 12 children in each facility at any one time. Indigenous organisations want immediate and well resourced change. Malcolm Turnbull has to put his money where his mouth is. You don't set up a Royal Commission and then walk away. How much longer do we have to wait for the result of being sorry? Questions many communities are asking. Jane Barton, ABC News, Darwin. There are now strong calls for the Commission's recommendations to be adopted across the nation. Experts say many of the findings are not new, but they hope this is the circuit breaker children in detention so desperately need. The failings of Australia's youth detention system have been in plain sight for years. From chaos at Melbourne's Parkville Youth Detention Centre to an escape from Malmesbury in central Victoria. This rooftop riot in Brisbane and trouble in Townsville. For many, Dondale is just another example of a system needing serious repair. What we need now um, is national action and we need it now. On any night, about a thousand Australian kids are behind bars. More than half of them will be Aboriginal or Torres Strait Islander. The over-incarceration rates of young people in this country is an absolute indictment on us as Australians. Indigenous groups want a higher age of criminal responsibility in all states and territories. National standards have recommended um, that children should not be charged until they're at least 14 years of age. The Commonwealth is indicating some of the recommendations could be implemented nationwide. Not only here in the Northern Territory, but across every jurisdiction in Australia. But it hasn't said how it could do that or when it'll respond to the report. The federal government's only saying it'll carefully consider the recommendations. Just hours after this Four Corners episode aired last July, Malcolm Turnbull announced the inquiry. We need to know what lessons we learn from it and how we can ensure it never, ever happens again. More than 25 years after the last Royal Commission into Indigenous incarceration, one of its commissioners, Pat Dodson, is now in Parliament. Many of its recommendations were ignored. If we're too tardy to respond to the needs of young Australians, 
and, and redress the situation, then we ought to be condemned internationally. The world is watching. Dan Connor for ABC News, Canberra.